Hello and welcome, I am Decider and today we shall be doing a Total War Room 2 dual commentary on a randomised map. I'm playing as the Romans and my ally, Andres. Oh, that, yeah, that's me. Yes. <laughs> I'm also playing as the Romans. Now I have uh, quite a heavy infantry build, well, also cavalry, I have five units of cavalry, but I've got four auxiliary Syrian archers. They are very, very effective in the skirmish phase and then uh, later phases they are also very good. Sons now I've got um, a build of three Terrarii, um, th those are really useful in combination with the auxiliary um, Syrian archers. Then I've got uh, two armoured legionnaires, um, actually, uh, yeah, uh, two of those, and then I've got three veteran legionnaires and then one eagle cohort. Now uh, I've got the four infant, uh, the four skirmishers on the front line, and then I have that backed up with the heavy infantry and then the three terrarii to deal with the cavalry if they do attack. Now I've taken up defence on the hill, and Andres has uh, is moving up to the left hand side of the hill. Could you explain a little bit what you're doing at the moment, Andres? Yes, I'm just moving up to the left of you, trying not to get uh, flanked by the other guy. We still don't know where where the guy, where the black guy is, um, the one with the black flag, that is. Uh, we don't we don't quite know where his men are. We've seen a few of cavalry units, so I'm just standing slightly behind the hill here, so that he can't see my entire force, and then just moving my skirmishes up a little bit. And I have some cavalry units in the forest on the left, um, so I've just moved them there to see if I can spot anything. Other than that, I'm just waiting a little bit now, just to see what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, I've got two cavalry units on my right flank. They can't see them because they're hidden. Uh, th what they can see is my archers, uh, my heavy infantry, and my trarea. They can't see my cavalry behind that, though, uh, because of the trees, and my general's also hidden. Now we can see all of the blue guy's force, and his force is mainly infantry, he's got no cavalry, and uh, it's quite... It's, it's a very good force, we have to be very careful. So he's got four units of uh, skirmishers, two of which are um, Britain's slingers, and the other two are Britain skirmishers. So these two are sk uh, slingers, so they throw rocks, and these two throw the spears. Now those uh, two skirmishers, the guys that throw the, sp uh, the spears, have a lesser range than the um, Syrian archers. And the slingers have, um, I think they have a longer range, but they're less effective. So my archers are more effective and have higher armor. So in the uh, the skirmishing phase of the battle, I'm going to win that. Now on your side, Andreas, your skirmishing phase is pretty strong as well. It's a similar build to me. Yeah. But, it, but you've split your... Uh, split your uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm moving out some, some archers in the forest there to see again if I, if I can see anything. And if I can, you know, fire them a little bit. I'm being a bit careful though not to move them up too far because he has quite a lot of cavalry units and I want to keep my army hidden. But now I'm actually moving them up a little bit. Just yes, because, he's, and, he, and because he's moving all of his cavalry over at, at, on the right here. side. Yeah, so as soon as we see this, um, we, we decide that what we're going to do is have Andrews' cavalry move to the right Great flank march. to assist because of uh, the sheer mass of cavalry he's got here, five units. Um, now that's going to be very uh, effective against my archers because it's going to be quite... he can harass me all the time. So by moving uh, Andrews' cavalry over here, we've got four cavalry units, we've got uh, a Terraria on the right flank, which is going to be very important. As soon as those cavalry advance, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this Terraria unit up there, which is going to deter him and hopefully force him to pull back. And he can't see this cavalry, these cavalry units, so we're set there. And also, the hill here, he can't see any of our cavalry. So he doesn't know we've got cavalry. And the Terraria are also hidden. So he doesn't know we have any anti-cavalry uh, units in the uh, area. And he's probably also banking on that we can't see his cavalry. 
but we can. Uh, I'm not sure why, because the trees are in the way. Has uh, anything developed on your flank yet, Andres? No, not 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 yet. I'm just I just have my Triari uh, still covering the left flank, just in case he has more cavalry on the left flank that's hidden somewhere, so we don't don't get flanked from there. Yeah. So I move my archers forward to try and draw the cavalry forward. Now, at the moment, I, I think he's actually just going to reposition. But in fact, he does uh, come forward. So I, as soon as that happens, I push my cavalry and Tararo forward to deter him to move him back. So now we see that he's moving back, and straight away uh, we can reposition the skirmishers uh, forward. Now, the, the goal here is to actually have these skirmishers engage in these units. He's positioned the two Britain skirmishers at the front and he's got two, uh, the two slingers behind. Because of the slingers have got um, a greater range, he can do that. Oh, and he's charging. So straight away, I move the skirmishers in this direction so uh, he's got further to run and it gives us more time for Andres to move up his cavalry and for me to deter with uh, Terraria and uh, my cavalry. You don't actually need that many units to deter enemy cavalry. Uh, the Terrarii, um, one unit can take on one or two units of cavalry easily. And now he's he's seen a pocket of time that he can take out Andres. However, uh, again the Terrarii are doing an awesome job of deterring enemy forces. So Andres, what are you trying to do with those two cavalry units? Well, I'm just trying to keep them them busy, if you will. So. Whenever they charge, I charge them just just to make sure that they don't get in uh, and catch the, the skirmishers and to, to, to catch them so that the Triari can come up and buy an attack. But actually now on the left front, uh, we see the rest of the black guy's army, although it's disappearing again because I, I just briefly saw them move back because there's quite a substantial force over there. And uh, you're actually over there at the time uh, looking and trying to see what army he has whilst at the same time I can just look at this zone with my Terraria and try and close it down to, to prevent him coming forward to take out Andrews' cavalry whilst he's not looking. And as soon as he does any more movements like coming forward I can then tell Andres to come across. So teamwork here is very important. And as soon as that happens Andres, well he's moving his cavalry back now because of the flanking force. He's uh, split his force so there's only three here, two up here. But he's moved up his infantry. Now that does cause problems, because if we do commit with our Terrarii, his uh, four units of chosen spear band are just going to wipe out our Terrarii. So that's taken that move out of the equation for the moment, so that's why we've pulled back. Now, you are actually advancing on the left now, Andrews. Yeah, yeah so I'm about. trying to... The, the blue guy, he's just over here on the right, he's not moving very much, in fact he's, he's only moving more to the right, so... While while the black guy still has some of his quite a substantial force on the right, I'm trying to move some of my men over on the left and, and, and kill the the black force. So that we can afterwards concentrate on the blue ones. Yeah. And uh, one of the problems here for me is that uh, this these four units of infantry are in replacement for the blue guy's cavalry. So essentially if I was to attack uh, dead on I have a problem because he's still got the same amount of infantry as me, if not better infantry. Because uh, he's only got four units of infantry and I've got five cavalry units. Uh, so uh, making a head-on attack because he splits his force is not an option at all. Um, and then Andres, is, uh, you're moving your units up which make that a possibility later on. Um, but he has regrouped his cavalry on, the right, uh, on his left flank and this allows us to spread out the Terrarii cavalry and uh, at the moment I'm repositioning my cavalry in case I need to make a charge. But they are hidden because they're behind the trees and just behind the ridge. So line of sight in this game is very important um, as, as we're demonstrating here. So you're just uh, camping it out at the moment until he reveals some of his units on. Yeah I'm just moving the last of my men there before I, I make the attack. Really, and then I'm moving a little force just in the middle, just to make sure the blue guy, because now he's actually moving some men over in my direction, so just to make sure that he doesn't attack me in the rear. 
Yeah, and because uh, he has an infantry advantage against me, you moving up your infantry evens it out. And because we've locked down five units of cavalry on, on his on the, the black guy's cavalry on his left flank, uh, we can we can do this in the middle. And at the moment, I think we're just waiting for the blue guy to position his units over here, and then this allows me to uh, make a a move in the centre. So we see that the black guy is now moving his cavalry across, which I can't actually remember what we do here. Oh, that's right. I move my uh, infantry forward um, to try and get a few shots off against his cavalry, but. Um, Oh, I also do that to try and draw the enemy cavalry towards us, as as seen here, and then that gives us time, uh, just yeah. just enough time to move the Terrari. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm charging the left flank now. Oh yeah. So I'm moving up my my infantry, the Terrari, because it's it's just a bunch of cavalry has basically, and then just having my skirmishers in the back, and moving over with some some legionnaires on the left, cavalry on the left. And carry on the right, so I'm just trying to encircle him. Yeah. He actually hasn't noticed until just when I hit him that that he's being attacked over here. So that's and that's, uh, on that's on good. this section, uh, my skirmishers engaged his cavalry. They didn't actually get any kills. The like, cavalry are very strong against archers uh, and other skirmishers. So. Uh, when possible, do not fire against cavalry whatsoever. It is virtually pointless. Um, always try and target enemy skirmishes uh, at all times. If you beat the enemy skirmishes, you can then freely use your skirmishes against enemy infantry. Uh, but the skirmish phase is very important, and uh, we're, we're kind of still counting this as the skirmish phase. Um, however, on, on the left flank, this is definitely uh, the middle phase of the battle. Um, yeah, so, so he's just pulling all of his cavalry back, I'm just trying to catch as many as I can. As many of them as I can. So by pushing him back, we're now actually encircling him without doing much, because he's in full-scale retreat. Um, if, if we were playing, um, the best idea for the black guy probably would have been to run away the other way and then flank round, I would have thought, with his cavalry. Because um, the only reason he'd want to retreat if he was infantry is if the other way he would have been killed um, and running backwards would have been the only way to survive uh, but you did actually have cavalry behind him didn't you? you... yeah I did okay so yes. that's probably why he ran that way I'm just preparing to back the blue so, guy on the left yeah. Right now, yeah. so because of your flanking manoeuvre the blue guy's had, gone, uh, had to split his force because he's realised that the black guy has no infantry uh, which is very concerning for their side because this flank, look how many infantry is just approaching on that flank so as you can see they've got this arrow formation here which makes it very weak and uh, this is just you know defended by skirmishers so what I can do is then move my whole force off the hill and um, you know it's, it's more like a, a, a mad rush um, to take this opportunity in. So we just move our archers forward, engage uh, the enemy forces, and he's uh, split his um, spearmen on the flank. So it's, it's the battle's now going in our favour. Do you want to talk about a little bit, little bit about what's going on on the far left with the cavalry? Yeah. So he's moved all of his cavalry over there. I'm just trying to to put my Terrari on the side and, and cover my advance as I move my infantry to the main bulk of of the uh, the blue army while also doing some skirmishing on him. Okay, and also with the skirmishing phase on my side, I'm um, literally um, wiping their forces. It's it's really easy to destroy enemy skirmishes with uh, Syrian um, archers. So this gives me the opportunity to just charge my heavy infantry in. Uh, there's no enemy um, infantry to stop me, so what I can do is just advance my line, uh, either get them to pull back or you know, pick up some kills on the way. Now if they do pull back, that then exposes its flank completely, uh, so I can then come in with the rest of my army and help uh, Andres on the flank. Yeah, 
and now he's he's engaging my cavalry on the left side so I'm just moving some my triari because my cavalry ain't gonna last for long and also bracing for the coming blue attack now oh yeah in the center in your center yeah so uh, this is this is the moment that will probably decide the battle if the blue guy manages to rout Andrews' center that then uh, causes the issue that Andrews' infantry is gone and the blue guy can then turn his focus to me. Uh, however, Andrews just manages to hold on long enough from the elite uh, troops of the blue guy for me to mop up the, uh, the skirmishes of the blue guy in the rear. And Andrews has actually got quite a few spare units that he's, um, he can move around uh, at the back here. So uh, the black guy and the blue guy have actually more or less taken your centre, but you do have loads of units at the flank that you move around. Yes. And uh, we send some cavalry around to try and take out the uh, retreating units. And uh, I was helping Andrews on the flank with some terrarii and I two units of terrarii. So what are we doing with the skirmishes at the moment? Well, I'm just withdrawing my archers now because well, most of my infantry in, in my center has been, been killed. So I'm just trying to pull them back to save them and harass them a little bit. Until I have a few units left, I'm just going to hold off with those. And just yeah. uh, hope you can come in and, and finish them off. So I have got quite a lot of uh, infantry here that's now uh, trying to mop up the remaining chosen sword bands. And the, the bad guy up here does have tons of cavalry left and I'm struggling uh, with my remaining cavalry up here and Andrews' uh, infantry is doing as much as they can but at the, uh, we're trying to pull them back as well. And also, uh, don't remember to make sure all your units are in the battle. I forgot about this, so see um, equity. So try and ensure that you're using your units all the time. Now one point about the archers, we didn't have them close to our lines to begin with because they can't fire over your units if they're close, so they don't fire at all to prevent friendly fire. Now more or less it's just a mop-up job, he's just got um, a load of infantry which can be easily closed down with my heavy infantry. Those are actually my skirmish units, but here comes Andres's infantry to finish the day. see from the tactical map we've we're now controlling the center and most of the enemy's units are routing Victory, I believe. Was that victory? Uh, yeah, it just stopped though. Uh, is it, the time has got to zero somehow. That is victory. All the units okay. are around it. Um, well, I'm at zero, zero, zero. The game hasn't finished. Um, okay, this is a replay. Um, however, we did win this battle, as, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think that may be a problem with the uh, when the battle starts. It doesn't start from the very beginning, but the countdown st starts. Okay, well, uh, I'll 
this has been Decider and Andres. And Bias. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for watching. This has been Game Decider TV. See you next time. Bye.